this is going to be a hotel tour of the Comfort Inn Hotel and Suites in Dillon, Colorado. Now here's the lobby. It's a nice lobby. They have food and it looks like coffee over there. This is level one. First, if you look at the pool, don't want to shake too much. The pool is not locked, unlike in most hotels. It's about average for a hotel pool, I'd say. There's private doors over there. There's my mom. Out here, is, since it's winter, out here is the uh, outdoor hot tub, which I'm not going to go out to because it's very cold. Yes, I am taking my hotel tour. Yes, this is the snow here. We're in, since we're in Dillon, it's fairly quite snowy. I hope we don't get wind noises on the camera because uh, it's a little windy in here from the ventilation. They still have the Christmas lights up even though today is January 15th. And even though my camera is waterproof, I'm not sure I want to stick it in the pool. So, uh, I would do that if I was sure about it. There's my brothers. You wanted your face on the camera, right, Ryan? I'll zoom in on you. There he is. The frowning pool right there. Yep, that's him. Yeah, so this is the indoor hot tub. Quite small. It's three feet deep, though. Anyways, in this room, which it's kind of hard to see into, is the fitness area. I don't want to take too much time in the pool because it's really, it's really, uh, I'm not sure what the word is, foggy, and, you know, moist. I don't know, I'll figure it out. <laughs> this is the fitness area. There's mirrors on the wall, and otherwise, this is quite small. Now this door does have a lock on it, but it happens to be open. You can see into the pool room from here. Window view all the way around. They have average machines. This looks like a combination type machine for something or other. Um, I'm not sure what the exercise is called. I know those are pull downs, what you do with this. Those, uh, I forget the name. Ah, here's the list, yeah. Kind of dark and kind of hard to see. Those are the exercises they suggest. There's a treadmill. This thing looks pretty advanced. Towels, trash and water. And here is the bike. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I think that's fairly new. Anyways, oh, oh, wait a second here. We'll go down this hallway first and see what's, if there's anything over here. Oh yes, and that lift motor is easily audible from the first floor. Here's the public bathrooms. I gotta wait for the person with the cart over there to get on the elevator so that I can walk past. Anyways, as soon as they get on, I, uh, I can head over. Since the elevator just went up, it's gonna be coming down. They have the power circuits out here. Now, my room's on the third floor, and I'm just touring the first floor while I'm waiting for the person with the cart to go. There's some security cameras over there. Two in a row. Anyways, I guess we can head over to the elevator now. There's ice rooms on the first floor and on the third floor. Now listen to this motor. You can't very well see in there, but the motor Yeah, there's the elevator. We'll go on that next. Anyways, I'm not sure if there's anyone in here. Anyways, no one in this ice machine room area. So here's the vending machines. 
Pepsi. There's the ice machine. There's one on the third floor that is out of service. And this one serves more than water, which is unusual for a water vending machine. So, I guess we'll go this way first. Look at the uh, man powered elevator. If I can find it, that is. They have a basement, I think. We'll go down here and find out. It's cold down here because looks like people have been using us and. Indeed, they do have a basement. I hope I am still for this. What? This is odd. Okay, this is really weird. It looks like there is hotel suites down here. This is weird. Wow. Okay, so this hotel is officially non-ADA compliant. The elevator does not access this floor. This is a basement, apparently. Yet it's labeled one, even though we are indeed one story below the ground. Wow. Here's the main, or not main, uh, emergency exit. Can be used though. Trash can over there. My screen's getting dark because uh, my video is over five minutes long. Here's the laundry area. If I can turn on the light, there we go. Hope this doesn't cause any weird effects, except for those annoying lines. Yeah. So, got two pay washers, two pay dryers. And that's just about it in here. Oh, and a detergent. Okay, I did not know that there was rooms below back there. Anyways, next is the elevator. So notice series one, which is hydraulic, as you can tell by the sound of the motor. Or I should say the absence of motor sound going down. Now this here is a step up. I've seen a few people trip on that. I think it's kind of a hazard. Anyways, usually the door doesn't close when you push the button. This thing can be a little rough. the floor going up. It bounces pretty hard. Anyways, I guess I'll go down again. Door close buttons do work on this, which is nice. I guess I'll get my cab view. There's a light, don't want to get a very good look at that because that causes weird effects on the camera. This thing seems to go quicker going down. Here is fake wood. And uh, let's listen to the motor when it goes up this time. This thing is extremely loud in the lobby. come back down again and then I'm gonna do the uh, room tour I'm not exactly sure what else to film oh ah, there's an indicator hmm. anyways it's here Three door close works. Then I guess we'll take one more ride. Yeah, seriously. 
Honestly, this thing has some uh, bad bounces. Third floor. Anyways, shaking a bit, dang it. I'm uh, gonna put the room key in here. And I'm gonna do the room tour. Oh crap, somebody forgot to shut off the TV. Anyways, does this remote even work? TV remote does not seem to be working. Dang it! Where's the TV power switch? Right. Think of Back there, um, I could get the button to work. The there we go. Anyways, I don't want any copyright strikes with TV, so I guess we'll go back over here and we'll get a look at the room. Closet with the iron in it. That stuff, I can't have this video longer than 15 minutes. Here's the bathroom. Oops, just banged into that. I think it is on tub mode. Toilet, we'll go ahead and flush that quick. <laughs> Toilet doesn't run very well. Don't want the video to be longer than 15 minutes. Anyways, hair dryer, counter. Mm. This sink's kind of hard to turn on. Mirror, hello everyone. A very old microwave quite clean inside. Here's the refrigerator. Same brand as the microwave. Looks like it's got ice frozen in it. I think there's a freezer compartment. Trash can. Another mirror. Hi. There's the phone. The lights all have plug-ins on them. It's quite convenient. Ice chest. I think it's magnetic. Some more lights. Here's a couch, table. Not very wide area here. A little bigger than most hotel rooms. This is a suite. Interesting wall setup. We have two queen beds, is what I believe those are. Another lamp here. Office style chair, TV. Looks like a storage compartment. Another lamp. Some hanging areas. Air conditioner and heater. Down there is where the outdoor hot tub is. Out there is the city of Dillon and Silverthorne. Some stuff up on the mountain there. It's pretty cool. Anyways, I guess I'm going to do... I'm going to end the video going down on the elevator. go down the stairs. Just take the elevator, actually. Can't have a video longer than 15 minutes, though. I guess I'm going to end the tour here so my video is not over 15 minutes. And that's it.